Hello, welcome to the Eisenheim Altarpiece Discussion. My name is Mrs. Morin and I am here with... Mrs. Wyatt. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the title. So the title is spelled here, Eisenheim Altarpiece. The name of the artist is Grunwald, which is spelled like this. And if you can't put those little dots over, it's okay. <laughs> Grunwald is the name of the artist. And then um, this is a Northern Renaissance piece in the materials and techniques. This is oil on wood poly, um, sorry, poly tip, <laughs> which is basically a piece that has uh, an artistic piece that has many different parts to it. Right. Correct. Okay. And Mrs. White, could you continue with the intended purpose? So let's go ahead and start with the purpose. It is an altar piece. And so it's used in the church up where the altar would be. It, the church um, in uh, Eisenheim is actually um, part hospital. Mm -hmm. The problem of it is, is that we think about hospitals as place, places to go to get well. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a place to go to die. Mm -hmm. So basically you go there to get right with God. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is there and there's a lot of things that have to do with the disease that this hospital was built for. Mm -hmm. The hospital was built for ergoism and it's a skin affliction. It, uh, causes you to get big welts on your body that, that bleed and have mucus. Mm -hmm. And, um, it also causes you to have hallucinations mm -hmm. and to think about things that aren't really there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's extremely painful, causes amputation a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go through and look at the imagery on this. And you'll begin to understand why a lot of what's on the altar has to do with ergoism. Yeah. So we'll start here at the front with the, um, with the crucifixion. And of course, it emphasizes the suffering of Christ directly and during the crucifixion. So the people who are hospitalized believe that viewing this, that Christ would take on some of their pain. So one of the things here at the bottom with this um, uh, lamentation here is that it breaks at his legs. And it breaks there because of the amputation. And then the other thing is all of the lacerations and things on his body, those also have to do with the fact that there's ergoism. And so they want people to feel like, Christ's suffering wasn't any worse than theirs and that he was able to, uh, withstand, to withstand it. Mm -hmm. And so this one, the crucifixion is horrific mm -hmm. on this particular piece. So let's go ahead and go to the inside because this opens up. Okay. So the second position emphasizes the promise of resurrection. Um, the panels depict the Annunciation of Christ, which is where... The angel tells Mary that she's going to have a baby. Um, it also depicts the virgin and child with a host of musical angels and the resurrection itself. The progression is from uh, left to right, and it's a kind of a highlight reel of Christ's life. Then we're going to open it up, and we're going to go to the third group of panels. So that third group is the final panels and this here Grunwald leads a hit, uh, lets his imagination just run riot and you're going to see the depiction of saint anthony so if you look at the uh the right panel then this is where the demons are actually tormenting saint anthony and he is the patron saint for uh illness and so he would be the person that the people with ergoism would uh, pray to. The little guy down in the corner that has the green body and the swollen belly, that's basically how you look when you have ergoism. So it just kind of gives you an idea of uh, the pain and suffering from this particular disease. And it's actually a uh, fungus mm -hmm. that you get from rye. Mm -hmm. So it's just from saving up to have the bread mm -hmm. and that a lot of people would get sick then. Mm -hmm. And this was just a means of having people to feel better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. And then finally for our patron and intended audience. Oh, our patron 
is um, the Brothers of St. Anthony's. So this is the, um, the church. And the audience is going to be the Catholic worshipers uh, in the Ischenheim um, Hospital. Mm -hmm. All righty. So that about does it. And thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed.